My name is Solange Senior A. I am not sure if you guys remember me from last year, but Dimitri and I did also do the presentation for you guys last year. So a little bit about me. Oh, I see some of you guys remember. So a little bit about me and my story started in elementary school. So a lot of it was because I am very outgoing. I'm not sure if a lot of all of you know what that means, but that means I like to help a lot of people. If the teachers ever need help or they need anybody, I'm always there to help them. If someone's sitting alone at the playground, I like to help them. So I'm always very helping people, hanging out with many people. And some kids didn't like that about me. I don't know why, but some kids didn't like it. So I am also adopted and I live in a house with many, many siblings, which sometimes can be a little crazy with this whole online, right? But it's amazing. Um, I didn't have very many friends because I was very active. I did a lot of things. I am a world and national champ in karate, so I keep myself busy outside of school. Um, so I didn't really have a lot of time. And some of the hobbies I do on the side was really helpful to get me out of a negative mindset when people would say really mean things to me. So when people would say really, really, really mean things to me, like they would either call me fat, they would call me ugly, they would tell me I have no friends, and they would just say words that really made me upset. But since I was so little, I didn't know what to do about it. So what I did was I told my mom about it and I was like, hey mom, there are some kids at school who say a lot of mean things about me and I don't like it, but I don't know what to do about it. So the next day, my mom and I go into the principal's office and we talk to him and we let him know what's going on. We bring in the people who were being mean to me and we all have like a big group meeting as a whole group and we talk to each other about what happened. So after we talked about everything, it was kind of like a misunderstanding. They didn't really know they were being mean, but they also had other things going on in their own life that made them really sad. And they didn't realize that what made them sad is they were taking that sadness and putting it onto me and using whatever made them upset, using it negatively and using it on other people, which sucks because nobody asks to get bullied. Nobody is like, hey, me, me, I want to be bullied. Like, it just happens. It just happens that way. So the only way I was really able to handle that was by speaking up about it. And especially with this Buddha bullying group that you guys are going to hear more about today, we help you guys speak up. And I know sometimes when you tell on people for doing mean things or saying mean things to you, people call you a snitch or they call you a tattletale, or they call you all these things, which we'll get into later, but don't listen to them. Because if you know somebody who's being bullied, if I know somebody who's being bullied like my friend Delilah, and I see it and nobody says anything about it, and I tell the teacher so that way Delilah gets help, I'm helping her. I'm not being a snitch if I'm helping her. I'm helping her because if it was my position and I was getting bullied, I would want my friends to help me too. So the best thing I could tell you guys, if you're ever being bullied, or if you know anybody who's being bullied, is to tell somebody, make sure you guys speak up and do something about it. Because if you guys are quiet the whole time and you let them be mean to you, they're gonna think it's okay. And we all know that's not okay. So you guys have to make sure you guys have voices for a reason. So when somebody does something mean or rude, you use those voices to do the right thing. So that is a little bit about me. And now I can see your guys' comments. You guys are so cute. Thank 